Hey guys, today I'll be showing you the best and the safest way to access the dark web on your mobile phone. Somebody reached out and asked me about this and I am very excited to show you guys how to do this. I will say this, okay, do not do anything illegal, okay? This channel does not support doing anything illegal. Make sure you are doing this because you want your privacy, okay? Or for various reasons. Your country might block certain things. Um, this tutorial will, will, will help you access resources that you might need. And subscribe to the channel if you're new because I do stuff like this all the time. And give the video a like if you found it valuable. Let's go. All right, so you'll start by heading to your store. And that's the Play Store or the App Store. And you'll search for Tor. Search for Tor. And you'll install the Tor browser here. This purple onion icon. And mine's already installed, so it just says open. All right. And once you get that installed, we'll head over to the Tor browser. And we need to change around a few settings. Okay. So first, we'll head up to the settings icon on the top right. And we'll configure a bridge. Okay. Now, I'll just quickly explain what each of these are. So OBFS4. So this makes your Tor traffic look random. And it prevents sensors from finding bridges by internet scanning. Okay? And then we have Meek Azure. And this makes it look like you're using Microsoft websites. And then you have Snowflake. And this routes your connection through volunteer operated proxies to make it look like you're placing a video call instead of using Tor. Now, why are these important? I'll give you two reasons. The first reason, your internet service provider. As we know, our actions are always tracked. So if we are uh, uh, using a bridge, instead of it showing us connecting to Tor, it, it shows us connecting to a different source, which is the bridge, and then that bridge, yeah, or in, and then that source will kind of be um, like the ploy. It will show our internet service provider. Uh, oh, uh, for example, if we use Meek Azure, oh, they're on a Microsoft website while we are actually using the tour. And the second thing is this is good for. Um, governments okay so certain governments in countries do not let them access the tor browser because they don't want their citizens to have access to certain information okay and the dark web is good for obtaining that information all right so I'm going to use the Meek Azure just because I think it's cool that um, anybody who sees my connection will think that I'm on a Microsoft website. Now you can also use this. If you have any trouble connecting, uh, just try to use a different bridge here. Okay, so that's enabled and connected. So it says the tour ready, no, state disconnected. That's perfectly okay. We have not connected yet. We've just enabled our bridge. Now we will connect, okay? And it is going to take just a little bit of time here. I will say, since we have enabled a bridge, it might take a little bit more time to access certain websites, but that's perfectly okay, right? Um, at least we can access them and we are doing it more privately and we have a little bit more anonymity, okay? Excellent. Now. Good job, we have connected. But we are not done yet. We want to change some uh, additional settings here. So we'll click the three dots there at the bottom right, and we'll click on settings. Now I do suggest you guys uh, click through these just to you know get an understanding of what all is here. But what we will be going through is the security settings. 
And I'll just quickly explain what these are. So you have your safer option there. And the safer option, it disables uh, JavaScript on non-HTTPS sites. Okay, it does a couple of other things, but that's the biggest one. Now, why do we want JavaScript disabled? Um, JavaScript can easily be used on websites to attack us. Okay, a hacker can use JavaScript, which is a powerful programming language, uh, to potentially harm us in some way. Okay, I'll just keep it there. <laughs> um, so the standard version, obviously, it just allows all the features. Okay, and then you have your safest. Well, this disables JavaScript on all sites. Okay, the safer was just for non-HTTPS sites, but the safest is all sites. So we'll go ahead and click that one and back out. And now you can explore. But what are you going to explore, right? So let me go ahead. This is just a general website that you can use to just see a few dot onion uh, sites. And if you did not know, dot onion websites uh, are dark websites, right? If you're ever on a dark website, it will end in dot onion instead of, you know, dot com or dot org or dot net. Okay. And you can scroll through this and see a few uh, links. And so, for example, dread. Dread is like the Reddit of the dark net. And if we see, it ends in dot onion there. There's also this other uh, site here as well. So this video was for educational purposes and for people who prioritized uh, their privacy online, uh, as well as trying to remain somewhat anonymous on your phone, because phones are just growing in popularity and it's the easiest way for a lot of places and countries to access the internet. So again, subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching.